power of Pentecost coming to you from this great church, the Apostolic Pentecostal Church of Morgan Park here in the great city of Chicago. Stay tuned because God's got a miracle for your life. God bless you.
us all. And he's through us all. And he's in us all. And it's in him I live. I move. Thank God I have my being. Tell me what is God's name, somebody. Clap your hands and shout, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I just want to tell somebody in Radio Land, somebody watching this telecast, that the Lord will make a way somehow. How do you know he'll do it, somebody? Because I've been there. And if you know it, just shake somebody's hand and say, the Lord will make a way somehow. If you really know it, put those hands together and give them a praise. Give them a praise all over. And we want to take this opportunity. I meant to do it earlier, but I'm glad to do it while my gang is here. To wish all of you in television world a joyous and festive holiday season. But I want you to remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. Oh yes, have I got a witness somebody? And as you look around this full house today, we want you to know that even though during the holiday seasons, a lot of people are depressed. They're downhearted. But we want you to know that God is able to help you to look to the hill. From which cometh your help. Because all of your help cometh from the Lord. We love you. We thank God for your monetary gifts to help us to spread this gospel all over the world. This week, I've received the email. I think that's what it is. You call from as far as Pakistan. Come on, y'all. Get y'all here. Pakistan ain't Pakistan. Not Pakistan, Texas. People are receiving the gospel. They're receiving the choir song. Tell them, Jesus, what a wonderful child. Another song that you've sung all over the world. Put your fans down in your book. And let's give God a praise for the, the worldwide, the word network. Come on, let's give God a praise for Brother Lewis Gibbs and Bishop Charles Ellis and the word network. Taking us all over the world. Come on. All over the world. We bless you. We bless you, my father's children. We bless you. Write us, call us at the number that's on your screen. For God's got a miracle for your life. Then I want you that are watching us maybe up into 2002 to rise with the Apostolic Pentecostal Church of Morgan Park here in Chicago as we move into the next dimension. God has brought us to the next level, but now he's taken us in the, to the next dimension. And I've been there, and some of you have been there with me, and you've got a testimony today that eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Anybody been up to the third heaven with me? Neither has it entered into the heart of men the good thing that God has in store for you this coming year. I don't care. Let me just minister a minute here. And while I minister, you turn to Second Chronicles. Woo, I feel so anointed. I don't know which one I'm on. Second Chronicles chapter 14 is where I'm going to preach from today. But let me just say, brother, triplets and triplets, that, that, that God, God is getting ready to do something great in the midst of the believer's lives. Hallelujah. Don't care what was bombed. How they bombed last year. Trade centers. Don't care if they bombed the White House or your house or my house. Don't care what happens in this world. I've got a SOS from heaven to the world. That God is still on the throne. I wish I had a believing church here. Yeah. what has happened God has anointed me 
I know other preachers are known it too. I'm not being personal, but, but let me talk like the Holy Ghost. Can I be prophetic here a minute? God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. And the devil can't stop me. I wish I had my real gang here today. I said the devil can't stop me. I got some praying folks around me. And the Lord has sent me into the next dimension of life and the spiritual realm to tell you every preacher, every church that Jesus said if we ever lift him up if we ever praise him if we ever worship him all in the back if we ever shouted and praised God and gave God the glory if you do it in this coming season notice 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 I didn't say this coming year but this coming season because this is your season Apostolic Pentecostal Church and for some churches that believe in with me in the ministry in Texas this is your season pa Pastor Ellis and the church there Conqueror's Assembly have been going through a 21 day consecration and God would have me to tell you son and you say that it's your season now Hold it, hold it. And, 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 and you got it when you tap into your season like we've tapped into it here bodies can be healed just like mama, just like mother. Cancer of the vocal cords, throat. Doctor said, brother, she wouldn't sing again. Took out that vocal cord. She couldn't talk. Barely could whisper for a long time. And she said, no, you ain't getting back up here. You ain't getting back up here, mama, no. Y'all noticed when I got bad, I got out there. I didn't say up here. But God, but God, but God, but God. Now, 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 here's what, here's what, I got to go. I got to get out of here in a minute. But listen, let me, let me say this, let me say something. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. Here's what the Lord is saying. Here's what the Lord is saying. I stopped mother from talking for a season to get the church to teach the devil's trying to cause you to lose focus by turning up the heat on you. And we couldn't get you, so they got the closest one to me. But the Lord is saying, look now what I have done to prove to the world they can't stop us. doctor said when we stood there at Mayo Clinic uh -huh. and with all afflictions she had to go through I hate it I hate it she'd been under so many times but God has said to me I have done this to prove to the world when she couldn't talk thousands of people at the convention but now thousands of people have seen I have spoken again through her and God is saying, if I did it for her. Cancer is no problem if God did it for her. Now, now here, here's the other piece of that, and I'm going on. I'm going on. If I don't preach, I'm going on. Y'all know how the Lord used me in this church, and I'm not trying to prove nothing to anybody. Here's the other piece to that, what the Lord is saying today, as I shared with my presiding bishop last night. Here's the other piece to that. God is saying that he will turn up the heat on the leadership to see how many true soldiers he have in the camp. Everybody is not true will be revealed. Everybody is not real will be brought down. The Lord has, I don't need Asa, I can preach today. The Lord is saying to us that, that when the pressure comes on the leader, uh -huh. that means I'm getting ready to do something great for the church. If the leader haven't been tried, y'all. 
If the leader can't stand to be tried, if the first family, John, Mike, Ike, John, uh, Billy, can't stand to be tried, then you can't be my leader. For God said, I've tried you in the furnace of affliction. I'm talking to somebody that's back. Get on this crowd. Get on this crowd. I'm talking to somebody that's back. That, that God says, stay in the fire. It ain't about Santa Claus. It ain't about Christmas. It's about Jesus. Because the Lord has let me know in the next dimension when I get through with you, you think I've been using you. You think this church is on fire. You wait till the battle is over. The other, the other, this is not in my outline. I got seven, eight pages here. But listen, the other piece to this is that the church now must pray without ceasing. The church now must put on your garments of praise. The Lord said you don't have to put on your garments of war. I do the fighting. You do the praising. Hey, God said I, I, I don't need you to put on the garment of heaviness. I need apostolic Pentecostal church to put on the garment of praise. While you're praising me, I'm a God of war. It is so. Spirit of the Lord said so. Spirit of the Lord said so. Woo! Spirit of, of the Lord. Yeah. I wish I had some folk. Softly, softly. Listen. When God got through last Sunday with Bishop Doe and Bishop Ellis, you didn't know, but I was so heavily anointed. I wasn't being funny. I didn't want to touch. The Lord said, don't allow anybody to touch you. And my armor bearers that was around me, I think it was Sister Deborah's brother, you, Brother Wade, some others, I heard them. I heard them, but I couldn't really reps what was going on I said get him out the side door and I told him I said I'm not going down into the dining room I don't want to be disturbed I don't want to touch you I want to meditate on God I went in my office and shut the door didn't I do it somebody shut the door shut everybody out people just stand in line and see me I just got through shaking hands the Lord said be still Got on the phone. I called the office downstairs, the minister's office. I said, bring Bishop Doe. He said, Father, I understand. I will obey you. He came up to my conference room. Sit there, and I sit in my room. This is what God gave me. This isn't all, but he says, it can't bear the rest. But I have. But I've been with Jesus. I know I got some doubters that try to be around me, but I've been with Jesus. Everything I told you in six years, God said, I've let it come to pass. Many of you are walking in the abundance now because of this prophetic preacher. You know you're here. You might as well have been. Not Bishop E, but what God told me to tell you. Some of you standing here now driving new cars you know you shouldn't have had. But I pray for you. Hundreds of you living in new homes because I prayed for you when you didn't qualify and the Lord said and brother Conrad confirmed it here last Sunday wasn't I don't know how he got home so quick but he called me come here brother Conrad if you don't mind come here run to me he called me 
You should never tell me nothing what God is saying to you. Because it's blessing somebody. If I don't preach, it's blessing somebody. Run here, brothers, come Conrad. Give him a hand as he comes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come in and just share a word. Don't preach now. I know you're ready to preach. But just shout out. But just say a word. What God said to you last Sunday. Truly the message that was given last Sunday was from God. And I received it. It was a blessing from heaven. I've been in this ministry. Been with the bishop here for about five or six months. And truly saying God is getting ready to do something. I've been in the church before where God's presence was felt. And the blessings are now finally by the end. The healing ministry will be here. That was proven by first lady. Everything that was given last Sunday I received. Open your heart. Be obedient. God will do the rest. I think he told me something about, did you tell me something about God sent me back to Chicago for a time like this? And when he said that, I wept before the Lord and the Lord said, I have anointed you to preach the gospel. To the poor. I've sent you to bind up the broken heart. Set it liberty. Then the rule. Don't worry about nobody else's church. Take care of my business in Morgan Park. The rest of it you're not ready for. When God says it will be so. It will be so. Thank you, Lord. Throw oh, your hand this way, the Lord bless our shepherd. Second Chronicles chapter 14. Woo! Lord have mercy. I don't make no apology for last Sunday. After Bishop Doe got through, God said, but you the pastor. Straighten the house out. Pull up, pull down, root out. Don't fear nobody. Fear me, says the Lord. I have set you over my people. I'll be for you. More than the word of the I will root out every hypocrite that's against you. Better stop praying. He'll reveal it all. Second Chronicles chapter 14. Here read it. The word of the Lord. And Asa cried unto the Lord, his God, and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help. Whether with many or with them that have no power. The 11th verse, help us, O Lord, our God, for we rest on thee. And in thy name, catch this, we go against multitude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But oh Lord, thou art our God. Let not man prevail against thee. And let me read another translation while you be seated. And don't get your pillow because you can't go to sleep today. Another translation says, It is nothing with thee to help. It is nothing with thee to help. Whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us. Oh Lord. Our God. And all the church said amen. That's my text today.
Sunday. If I don't preach it this Sunday, I'll preach it next Sunday. Help us! Our God. Help us. The country needs to say that. Can I get a witness in here? Thank you for sharing the power of Pentecost with us today. Listen, we're excited for what God is doing here at the Apostolic Pentecostal Church of Morgan Park. Anytime you're in this area, you're always welcome to worship with us here at the park on the south side of Chicago. If this service has been a blessing to you, I want to hear from you. We need you to help us to reach the lost at any cost. The announcer's coming on to tell you how you can purchase our tapes, videos, and CDs now to help us further spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. The number is on your screen. The P.O. box is there on your screen for you to write. The number for you to call because we are praying for you. Above all things, we want you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. May God bless you and your family. And anytime again you're in Chicago, this is the church you must be a part of. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please somebody, somebody lead me to the rock that's higher than I. The Apostolic Pentecostal Church of Morgan Park presents a seven-part series taught by Bishop William Anthony Ellis entitled The 21st Century Millennium Church. The cost for this series is only $60 on CD and $35 on audio cassette. Praise the Lord and may God richly bless you.